Welcome back. I am Denver Gamer, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Xenia Canary on your PC. Let's get started. Click on the first link in the description that will take you to the Xenia Canary homepage on GitHub. Then you will want to scroll down under status, and you'll see right there it says releases latest. There is also a link to all previous releases next to it, but today we're just going to get the latest. So click on that and then click on the Xenia Canary zip file and I'm gonna save that to my desktop. Next thing we will need to do is extract this zip file into its own folder. I like to use WinRAR, so I'm gonna right click and extract to its own folder. You can go ahead and delete the zip file. We do not need that anymore. And we're gonna open up this folder. And the next step is to double click on the Xenia Canary executable, start the emulator, and then immediately exit out. What this did was create a configuration file that we're gonna play with here in a little bit. But I like to have all my games in one place, so I'm gonna create a games folder in this folder real quick. And then I'm gonna move my copy of Afterburner Climax and extract it into this folder. I'll go ahead and delete that zip file. And you can see in the Afterburner Climax folder, there's a bunch of numbers. It's how the files are all numbered. And right there is the actual game itself. But unfortunately, they delisted this game. They delisted it, and it's awesome. So let's go ahead and get it up and running. So open the emulator back up, select File, select Open. And we're going to go into that games folder all the way down and find the game and open it. Afterburner Climax. I did skip ahead just a little bit for sake of time. Uh, we're going to start this thing up. And what you're going to see here is that it is not the full game. It says down here, unlock full game. Well, we can go into that config file and I can show you how to unlock it. So let's go back to the root of our Xenia folder. And we're gonna click on that Xenia Canary TOML file. And we're gonna edit that. You can do it with Notepad. I prefer to use Notepad++, which I'll leave a link for in the description. And we're gonna scroll down to content. And under content, you're gonna see license mask equals zero. You're gonna wanna change that to a one. What that does is tells the emulator to Unlock the full game for you, and it's pretty awesome it's that easy. Another thing you can do while you're in here is scroll down to the display section, and you can enter a code as 8 by default, which is 1280 by 720, but you can enter different codes for different resolutions. The internal resolution of the game will be increased. It'll be much sharper. Now, there's a setting I'm going to show you in a second that does post-processing, and it's uh, less hard on your PC. But if you do have a beefy PC, you can do it in here. Make sure you click to save the file and then exit. Cutting back to the full game, now you can see that it is all unlocked. You've got this extra option menus to unlock things, but let's go ahead and play arcade. And I'll show you how to fix the, uh, the graphics in game with post-processing. You can hit F6 or you can go up to the display menu hit the post-processing settings, and there's one I particularly like, which is this bottom setting called Fidelity FX Super Resolution. You can also toggle uh, the anti-aliasing options if you have jagged edges, but this game really didn't have it. On my computer, it looked like it was stuttering just a little bit, so I did turn the anti-aliasing option back off. And look how smooth and crystal clear this game is running. It is just awesome. So I hope that got you started. I will have supporting videos in a playlist on my channel. Just go to my channel, go under playlist, and you'll see all of my Xenia Master and Xenia Canary videos showing you how to do DLC, load save files, all types of stuff. So I plan to do seven or eight videos on this emulator. And thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to connect outside of YouTube, I do have a Twitter where I post video game stuff and top 10 lists, as well as an Instagram where you can see my collection and pickups. I also have a TikTok. You can see Groot, Rocket, and Gamora, my Great Danes, and shorter videos. And I also have a Facebook page you can follow as well. So I look forward to connecting with you.